exactly sure what I'm making, but in my head, I was going to make a waste yarn pillow out of a tube. So here's the yarns I will be using. I don't know exactly what it is, but up. Oh, let's see if I can turn my cabinet. This one here I probably found at a, I don't know, thrift store or something. It's a horrible color I'll never use. And this is what I'll be using to stuffing it. This is a real scratchy yarn, another thrift store find I'll probably never use. So, uh, let me get all this stuff out the way. Okay, this is the yarn I'm going to be making the tube out of. Alright, I'll get started. I won't be using my voiceover like I usually do. Excuse the mess in the background. I want you to guys to actually see my little cranky in action. Since I'm going to be making this extremely long tube, I don't feel like cranking it out by hand. So, I don't know if you can see from a bad angle, but I just attach it on. It's going to get loud. Okay, see? There we go. And start off slowly. Okay, I'm not going to bore you with the whole thing, but I'll see you when the whole tube is completed. But I decided to stuff the yarn as I go. Okay, excuse my feet. Let me take the camera off. I figure it'll be way easier to stuff it now as I go than trying to jam my arm down a very long tube. All right. I'll continue to stuff as I go, and then I'll get back to you when I'm all finished. Okay, this is what it looks like so far. I knitted about 300 rows, and now we're going to try to work it into a knot, a decorative knot. First, we are going to make a loop at the far left hand of your tube, and then we'll make a second loop like this. Okay, next we're going to put your second loop through the first one, like so. Adjust your knot so you'll have spaces to work into. Okay, now we'll take the end and stick it underneath and back through the front of the very bottom loop. Okay, next we'll be working back down through the space right here, all the way through the back. Pull it all the way through. Okay, now take this back loop and put it through here and give it a good tug. Okay, your knot is done. Now just find some place to sew your edges down. Just fold it any way you like. I'll take mine and stick it right here and I'm going to sew it and make sure you won't be able to see the seam and take the other end and do exactly the same and sew it so you can't see the seam okay here's the finished pillow I hope you like it please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and click the like button thanks everybody and bye